Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a really weird mood. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like have such troubles focusing today. Um, I just got done watching the first two seasons of Jersey Shore. I literally was sitting on the couch for like five hours straight and couldn't get myself to get up. But now I'm here and the reason that I'm here is because I got myself motivated to film because I'm going to be doing a challenge video today and I'm really nervous about it. Today I'm doing the opposite hand challenge, like doing your makeup with your opposite hand. I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just do a full face of makeup with your non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. And the reason that I'm so nervous is because I know that I have absolutely zero ability to do anything with my left hand. I don't know about you guys, but when I was in eighth grade or like sometime in middle school, I can't remember if it was seventh or eighth grade, but everyone was obsessed with doing their signature with their non-dominant hand. And a lot of people got really good at it. One of my best friends, she's actually, I'm pretty sure she's ambidextrous, not like completely 100% the same with both hands, but she can do a lot of stuff with both hands. She's normally left-handed, but like when we played softball together, she batted right-handed and everyone tried to beat her ability of signing her signature with her non-dominant hand. This is getting really off topic but basically when I would do it I practiced it for like a month straight and I never got better like my signature was always crap I'm terrible at doing anything with my left hand so this is gonna be really really hard for me and I'm really scared but you know what I like to challenge myself I always take challenges a little too far I do everything to the extreme as extreme as it can go I guess but Today, I'm gonna do everything with my left hand, down to curling my lashes, which that's the part that I am most nervous about because I don't wanna rip my eyelashes out. Okay, so first we're gonna do our brows. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Platinum Blonde. This is my favorite brow pencil right now. You guys know it's literally the only brow product I've been using for a while. Oh, I already hate it. I already hate it. I just have like no wrist movement. Like I don't know how to properly move my wrist. Okay, <laughs> we can do this. How do you hold a pencil? I'm actually gonna try to make this look good too. I'm not just gonna bullshit it. Oh, frick. Okay, not trying to act too cocky, but it's going well so far. Like this actually looks better than when I do it with my right hand. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, oh, I am doing exquisite. This is gonna be really hard because my arm is not used to this. Obviously, that's why I'm doing this challenge. I wish you guys could see my body positioning right now. It's so awkward. Even my right hand feels awkward holding the mirror. Oh my God. Ugh, this is my bad brow. Okay, it started off good and then it just went downhill. I don't know what's happening. Fine, because we're gonna clean up our brows. This one is way too short on the inside. Hello? Hello? Hi, where are you? In my apartment. What? In my apartment! Can you hear me? All right, next I'm gonna carve out my brows using the it. I just put it on the wrong hand. Using the it bye bye under eye eye lift in a tube. And this is in the shade light. So we're just gonna take a little <laughs> concealer brush and just layer that. Oh my God, this just feels so awkward. I hate it. One fluid stroke. Yes, she did it. Oh my God, I'm killing it. Oh my God, I am the best. This is where it's gonna go wrong. One fluid, oh my God, my hand's shaking. Nope, this side does not wanna do it. Ew, this is definitely the bad eyebrow now. It's actually not that bad. It could be worse. Next, going in with the Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, and this is in the shade Blonde. I 
gonna be careful with this. Ooh, okay. All right, next, taking the rest of that concealer on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna use that to prime my lids. This is just the most frustrating thing I've ever done. The most frustrating thing. I really encourage you guys to try this or just do anything with your non-dominant hand and you will learn to appreciate your other hand so much more when you didn't even think you needed to appreciate it. All right, next, taking the Pixie by Petra Flawless Finishing Powder and this like flat shader brush from Iconic London. I'm just gonna set that. Oh my God, this feels so awkward. Set that concealer. This is gonna be rough. I feel like my left hand is gonna be sore tomorrow because it's just not used to working this way. It's so weird that only one hand is good at doing stuff and the other one is just kind of there. Why don't we train our hands to both be powerful? That sounded so weird. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I like don't really need to do this because they're permed curled, but I'm just gonna... Okay, and today I'm gonna be using the Naked, original Naked um, palette by Urban Decay. And first starting with the, I'm even gonna show the brushes with my left hand because I'm insane. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl 202 brush, my favorite concealer or crease brush. And first going in with the color Naked, we're gonna use that as the transition color. Windshield wiper motions. We got this, yeah. We got this. No, oh shit. It's honestly an arm workout because when you normally do this, you just, you know, flick, do the flick of the wrist. Of this, I don't know how to move my wrist. So like, how do you even? All right, now with a little bit of a darker brown, the shade Buck, I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm just gonna work that into the crease again because we hate ourselves. Yeah, my bicep is literally like hurting right now. We're just gonna pop. All right, that looks slightly better. And we're not doing just a natural eye look today, people. I'm gonna try to go for something dark. Now going in with the shade Creep and the Luxie 227 blending brush. It's just like a flat, wrong hand, just like a flat, you know, fluffy shader brush. Right on the outer V, just place it. Don't even move after that. Then with this iconic London, they don't have numbers on them, but it looks like this. It's like a shader, fluffy brush. And then with the color Buck, I'm gonna try to blend out that black. I'm just gonna keep doing this until it looks better. I'm not super mad right now. All right, and then with some more of that concealer and this little concealer brush from Makeup Addiction, Addiction Cosmetics. God, it's such a habit to grab things with my right hand. It's like, I can't stop myself. I'm gonna try to do a cut crease, people. Just like a little, just a little cut crease in the middle. We're not going all the way out. Just, you know, a half-ass cut crease. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna start by taking Half Baked on my finger and just covering a majority of that area. And then I'm gonna wipe off that brush on my sweatpants and dip it into Half Baked. And I'm gonna go right up to that, to the edges of that concealer. Then with that iconic London brush, I'm just gonna kinda Try to blend those colors together slightly. Did it work? I can't tell. All right, now for the really, really terrifying part, I'm taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper and we are gonna attempt a winged eyeliner. Oh my God. Oh, I'm shaking. All right, and then taking that little concealer brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows, I'm just gonna... Okay, I messed the eyeshadow up a little bit, but I really don't care. All right, don't say anything. I don't wanna jinx myself. Oh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be the hard one. I don't even know how to angle the thing that way. 
Okay, this one's gonna be a lot thicker. All right, this isn't fair. This eyeliner is like running out. I I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I'm doing so much better than I thought I was going to. All right, then going in with a little bit of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on some lashes. I'm using the Violet Voss lashes in Wisp It Real Good. Kind of cheating in this area because these have a really thin band, so they're like pretty easy to put on. But I just did a winged eyeliner with my left hand, so get off me. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. The hardest part is done with. I'm so proud of myself. Next, going in with some primer, I'm gonna be using the Farsali Unicorn Essence Drops because that is just what is on my desk right now. Should I only use my left hand for this? Okay, and now for foundation. Today I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. Please focus. And this is in the shade Pearl. I don't think this is my exact shade right now, but we're just gonna work with it. Eh, it's all right, it's a little light. And using this LA Girl Damp Beauty Blender. Oh my God, I forgot how high coverage this stuff is. I feel like I'm going so slow, but I can't go any faster. Oh, there we go. Guys, my bicep is sore. That is how weak I am. It's not pathetic. Don't mess up the brows. Don't touch the brows. Don't touch the brows. My hand's sore. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, now moving on to concealer. I'm just gonna use the IT Cosmetics one I've been using. This stuff is thick, but not as thick as their tubed one. I like it though. It's nice and full coverage. Oh, this is just so frustrating because I normally go so fast when I blend out my concealer underneath my eyes. Oh, my hand's really getting sore. This is harder than it looks. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of cream contouring. I'm taking the NYX Wonder Stick and this is in the shade 04. I'm gonna focus on my cheekbones and my forehead. Oh, it's not the area I was going for. And I'm gonna use this little flat foundation brush from Rouge and Rogue. Luckily, this is really easy to blend out. Okay, and then I'm going to set my whole face with that pixie powder that I used before. She's using this big fluffy brush from Iconic London. All right, and then t for bronzer, I'm taking the, the Bomb Take Home the Bronze, and this is in the shade Oscar. I'm just gonna use that same iconic London brush. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay. Then for blush, taking the Physicians Formula Butter Blush, and this is in the shade Vintage Rouge. Just gonna use that iconic London brush again. Oh shoot, that was way too much. Then for highlight, taking this LA Girl little fan brush and the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Pillow Talk. Just gonna try to highlight the high points. Just try to mask everything that looks bad. All right, and now with the Stila Smudge Eyeliner, and this is in Intense Black, I'm going to waterline and tightline my eyes. Hopefully I don't make myself blind. All right, and then taking this little pencil brush, this is from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna try to smudge that eyeliner out that I kind of messed up. And then going back in with that Naked palette, I'm taking the color Creep again. I'm gonna put that right up by my lower lash line. And then with this little tiny definer brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics in the color Buck, I'm going to blend that out. 
and coating my lower lashes with mascara and then I'm done with the eyes. Okay, I got a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line, but I don't even care. All right, guys, last step of this look. Um, probably one of the hardest steps, too. I'm taking some liquid lipstick, and I chose a really hard color because I'm psychotic. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Mina. I don't want to do this, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Going to go for it. Okay, I know it's uneven, but honestly, I can't I can't do this anymore. All right, I just have to start off by saying I am very impressed with myself. I did not think I was going to be able to do this. Why is it with every single challenge that I think I'm going to do well in, I do bad in? And then when I don't think I'm going to do good, I succeed. I don't know. Maybe I should just go into every video with a bad mindset and maybe it'll come out good just kidding this is actually super frustrating but it was really fun to do i like pushing myself and seeing what i can do and you know learning new things maybe i should start doing my eyebrows with my left hand every single day because they kind of well not right now after the foundation and all that stuff but when i first did them they looked better than what i normally do with my right hand i'm not sure what that was about but yeah this is the finished outcome i hope you guys had fun watching this video you should definitely try this out for yourself it gets frustrating at times but it's interesting to see like what you're good at with your left hand or your non-dominant hand and what you're terrible at compared to your dominant hand but yeah that was pretty much it please comment down below what other challenge videos you want me to do i love doing challenge videos i've just gotten really into them the past like couple months and i want to do more and I want to know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. Falling, falling for you every time.